Welcome back. Let's get chatting with the management of VIP Industries. It was a strong quarter. The revenues rose about 50% in the second quarter. Numbers have also surpassed those seen in pre-COVID levels. The stock, uh, you know, moving off lows in today's trading session, but in the Mohra trading session, it did rather well. We do have, have with us Mr. Piramal, who's joining in to detail the numbers and give us more in terms of the second half of this year. Thanks a lot, Mr. Piramal, for joining in. It was a good set of numbers in the second quarter. The first quarter also was a record quarter for you. So that's where my question stems from. Because the first half of this year, you've done revenues a little over 1,100 crores. Usually for a business like yours, it's the second half which does a little more revenues than the first half as well. You had earlier guided for 2,000 crores in terms of uh, this year's revenue. Do you think you can surpass that, do maybe 22, 2,300 crores this year? Well, on the basis of the first half, uh, I think we should be able to do that because let me... Uh slightly correct you what you said that our revenues are equal in most in, mm. in both the half mm. because the first quarter april to june is our largest right. quarter okay and the second quarter is our weakest quarter but this year there was an exception mm. that the second quarter has done much better than what we had uh, planned for mm. and let's say we got nearly about uh, 60 crores extra sales than what we had budgeted so if we equal, if the second half is the same as the first half, then we should be 2,200 crores. But definitely we should uh, do more than 2,000 crores. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Mr. Piramel, and greetings, season's greetings from here at CNBC TV to all of us, uh, to you, your team, as well as your family. Uh, so around 2,000 crores at least, and 2,200 crores could possibly be on the cards if you just replicate yes. what you did in the first half. Uh, so if the trend is the same, like, you know, I mean, the sales were quite buoyant in the first half. Yes. Except the month of May. Yeah. Mm. And maybe a little bit June, but all the other four, five, four, four and a half months. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, Mr. Piramal, then I think you should guide for at least 2,200 crores mm -hmm. because you had a bit of a blip in the first we, half. So, 2,200 crores at least? Well, we normally don't give. Yeah, but we have already done okay, 1,100 crores. Yeah. So, um, so we're holding you at 2,200 crores. Give us two more numbers then. Margins, what's the outlook from year on? There has been some improvement out there. Point number one. Yeah. So you give us a steady so, state. Mid-teens is, I think, what you were hinting at. And the second factor is market share. You had slipped from around 50%. But in the last few quarters, again, you're creeping up in market share. When do you get to that 50% market share? You know, I have been sort of making some mistakes in announcing the market shares. Hmm. And this market share, by the way, is only with related to the top three companies, you know, right. whose uh, figures we have access to and sort of they're more accurate. So our peak market share uh, in the pre-COVID area in the last three, four years prior to COVID was uh, 49%. And the lowest was uh, as low as uh, 40% uh, before uh, the COVID ended. And now we are at about 43%. So we have definitely clawed uh, three, three and a half percent. And uh, we hope, uh, uh, we we want to claw back at least two more percent in this fiscal year. Percent. So we are working quite hard. Of course, competition is also working Mr. Piramil, quite hard, but I think now- Mr. Piramil, are... apologies for interrupting you. So 45% by the end of the year is the target? Yes. And yes. margins? Margins also are gross margins, like should be about 50%, which are about 49%, I mm -hmm. think, in the last quarter. EBITDA margins, sir. EBITDA margins is what we want. Margins, uh, we hope to do about uh, between 15 and 18%. All right, between 15 and 18% uh, on your EBITDA margins. Just a, a question on uh, your market share itself. I'm looking at uh, your channel mix, and uh, CSD has come down from, what, 9% to close to around 6% right now. Uh, was that purely on account of, uh, you know, other companies, uh, namely Safari, etc., gaining market share there? Or uh, you're, you're looking... No, no, no. Hmm. I don't think 6% is the right figure. I don't know for It's from quarter, your presentation. It's from your presentation, sir. Yeah, but I think for the first half, it's about 12%. Okay. And see, it has generally come down for everybody, you know, because the other channels have uh, increased and this, this government has actually tightened up CSD. So there are no leakages and all that in the, okay. from the CSD to the general trade. But our market shares are quite good in CSD. And we definitely, uh, we were the weakest in uh, e-commerce. Okay. But uh, we have, we are also gaining a good market share there. So where this increase of 2%, 3% of market share has come from all the areas where we were weaker. You know, like we had lost a lot of sales right. from the group closure. 
So that was the largest customer. Hmm. So that also we have made up uh, directly. We know that we have made up 40, 50 percent through other uh, large uh, stores, similar yes. stores. Uh, but and the other fifty percent also, some right. of it has probably come through our retail stores, the uh, MBOs in the high street. Take that point, uh, Mr. Piramal. Thank you so much for joining in. As always, not out of questions, not out of content, but definitely out of time. Wish to converse with you more often uh, during the quarter as well. But uh, the street likes what you're saying with regards to your revenue and margin outlook in particular and the market share intent because the stock has now moved into the green, currently at the high point of trade. That, ladies and gentlemen, was VIP. With that, we step into a sh second segment or a 